On to an NECN exclusive look into the latest technology keeping communities across New England and the nation connected. We are talking about 4G wireless internet connections as fast or faster than landlines. And now one telecom giant is turning to centuries old technology, wind power, to make it happen. This is interesting stuff and our business editor Peter Howe joins us now live with more. Peter? Thanks, Mike, and good evening, and definitely some potentially history-making technology that's being tested in a very historic place, Salem, Massachusetts. And it's what Verizon is using to expand what it calls 4G LTE, a mouthful, but basically helping you get the very fastest broadband inter internet connections you may have at home or work on your smartphone or iPad or tablet computer. Say Verizon, and your first thought is probably communication, not energy. But here atop this Salem, Massachusetts parking garage, Verizon is testing out something huge, air-powered airwaves, using wind to deliver ultra-high-speed 4G wireless. We're now powering network components here completely off-grid. They're running completely on the power produced by the systems behind me. Harry Ruta is CEO of turbine maker Wing Power Energy and imagines everywhere this could finally connect your smartphone. Mountaintops or uh, rural areas where um, getting an electrical connection may be very expensive. So this gives uh, Verizon tremendous flexibility in extending their network to just about any place. Each turbine array is around $15 to $20,000 and they feed batteries, up to seven days of backup power if it gets cloudy or windless, even juice for their own security cameras. Like as you see in downtown Salem, there are many places like it where you won't Finding power is not easy. Gagan Peranek is with Verizon's LTE Innovation Center in Waltham, Massachusetts, where they're showcasing everything you could do with a broadband wireless connection. ATM banking, smart home appliances, internet-enabled refrigerators, and one I love, TV live shots without a TV truck. Verizon has huge plans for further expanding its fastest network. Wherever you have cell phone coverage today, you'll have 4G LTE by end of 2013. And much of today's no coverage white space, systems like wing powers may finally fill in with dark red 4G wireless. Our network planners are super excited. They really, really want to add this immediately because as we are rolling out 4G LTE and the possibilities that brings to us, there's a laundry list of places where Today, if we had power, we could have extended our 4G LTE coverage fast. Now, Verizon is in a fierce race with AT&T to a lesser extent Sprint and T-Mobile to roll out 4G wireless. This promises you multiple megabits per second upstream and downstream, typically a good enough connection for streaming high def video to and from your phone or tablet. Verizon is, however, the first carrier with some 4G LTE presence in all six New England states. It's covering areas home to over 75% of all Americans and now the challenge filling out those more sparsely populated or geographically challenging areas. Thus, the appeal of innovative products like what wing is offering, Mike. You know, it's a great idea, and, and as I watch, you know, you think of the, the windmills that we see now mostly, and they, they spin, you know, like a propeller, but these go around, so there's a little, there's a difference, obviously. Yeah, the, and where that is, is it takes up a little bit less space uh, to have it be something that spins in this direction, a little quieter, and it's also the way, uh, the design behind those, very interesting, whether the wind is blowing fast or slow, those are incredibly efficient at making the energy that you need to produce whatever it is, 4G LTE or anything else. Interesting. Peter Howe, thanks so much.